All right. Uh. All right. Let's have a little look and see here. EPL 2022-2023. Hot-headed gaming versus Gen of Miracles. We get rid of Marcy. We get rid of Clinks. No more Storm Spirit. Picked up Medusa. Picked up Shadow Demon. Oh, uh, Venomancer, Oracle, or Beastmeister. Spearbreaker and Techies. What kind of a meta are we in here? I, uh, I wonder. I wonder. Get rid of Ember Spirito, we get rid of Empty Mage. Makes sense with the Medusa pickup. Other heroes I'd expect to kind of maybe be taken out would be like a Pugna. Mirana. Final ban. Now you see Spirit Breaker, you see Tackies. This is a mobile lineup to an extent. And you have to ban. Okay. Falta.
All right, so Bounty Hunter, Void, Spirit for the mid lane, I imagine. Bounty Hunter, was this is a four or a three? Hmm. Shadow Demon, pretty good versus Spirit Rigger. He charges in, you bubble him up. Bounty Hunter, incredibly annoying. Changes to Janada. And Shuriken. Okay. Grimstroke. Like, I don't see much synergy. Uh, a lot of what they have so far is uh, not targeted. Like, Void is like uh, an AoE bro. Techies is an AoE bro. Spirit Breaker charge and bash, though. I can see that could be fun. God, data soldier tinker okay very irritating to deal with hot-headed gaming definitely making a statement here tinker bounty hunter shadow demon and medusa there there are there are shades of evil and and that's that's pretty deep in there but you know on the other flip side of things we do have techies and spirit breaker and grimstroke on the other side so really who's pointing the finger Spider-Man meme. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Underlord. Well, I mean, the root is annoying for Spirit Breaker to charge into, for sure. I can see the uh, same for Techies as well. He wants to be mobile. Voids be retold. Slark. Yeah, I mean, Slark is a casual defusal blade builder. Ursa used to be a good common one back in the day. Don't know if he still fits that bill. We get rid of the Batman, we get rid of the Minky King. No, there's no bets on. I don't even have the bot up. You could, uh, you could start one, though, I think. Using your massive powers of uh, uh, predictions or whatever. Oh! What the fuck? So I assume safely in Queen of Pain?
but realistically, we're looking for an off laner, right? I mean, Bounty Hunter could be the three, but I imagine he's the four here. Visage. Wow, the, this is a spicy lineup. Like, I'm not even sure what is happening here. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's break it down. Let's shake it down for game one. Best of three for Hot Hated Gaming. We have Medusa, Shadow Demon, Bounty Hunter, Tinker, and Visage. For Generation of Miracles, we have Spirit Breaker, Techies, Void Spirit, Grimstroke, and Queen of Pain. I am Jeeves. It's showtime! Just be free and do whatever you Just be free and do whatever you want. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Look how savage this is, gang. They are poised and ready downtown here. Get into it, what do you think? The robot's gonna say, whoa, whoa, what? I mean, all the starts 50-50 nowadays, it seems like. Think of Reno hiding in the trees here. Aries on Void Spirit. Pick up the mid lane here. All right, so Shadow Demon started a little, a little, a little bit of an engagement here, but nothing too exciting going to come off the back of this, I imagine. Hayato, it takes a bit of a pasting, not going to lie. You know, 20% of health, just gone. All right, so it's Techies plus Spirit Breaker. Spirit Breaker, the three, Techies, the four. A little blood grenade action going on here. Safe lane will be Medusa plus Shadow Demon. Makes perfect sense. Aye, aye, aye. Sage plus Bounty Hunter. Then safe lane voids Burrito Jeeves. Oh. Mid Queen versus Tinker. Uh, okay. Ayato, as they say, you know. Oh, nice. Do you see the gap there? Straight through the middle. Loving it, loving it. How are you guys finding the evolution of these lanes now? You know, like, how do you feel about laning now that the trees are, like, not really a thing? Okay, Malloy. He turns around, though. A little solo assumption damage. Ah, that's, that's a death! The first blood in the bag for Malloy here. On the burb, the visage is scoring one for the boys. Yeah, it's a little bit too frisky. Now, look, see, he goes for the ring of Basilius, basically, like. Um, I guess it's kind of like a like a ring of regen, right? 
Oh, Shikaka. By the way, they got the kill back up top. I mean, we could probably just uh, instant replay that, I guess. Look. Hello there. Was that enough? I don't think. I, was that too far? Here we go. The exact same as last time, huh? Hey, no, that was the. Oh, whatever. Ah, who cares? Ah, we do see it this time, though. Now, Makarek, he tries to get out the other side of it. Not happening. So that's two kills now. They got Diacho down bottom. Two for one. Tinker, a little bit low here. The laser action coming through. He's got his ball, though. Three charges in it, ready to go. Moons are up. Queen of Pain trying to trade a little bit now. Imp all our mana here. Not worth killing yourself over, it seems like. I mean, so long as he hangs out with Dusa, he's going to get that mana regen, you know? What's the build here? Power Treads into Yasha Manta. Pretty standard stuff from back in the day. Mystic Sustain in the lane. Oh, okay, okay. Didn't want to come too close. It's fair enough. Like, it's very quick to build up the damage on the Soul Assumption, so... Try and keep your distance as far as possible. And range. 17 and 4 versus 17 and 2. The Queen of Pain matchup versus the Tinker. Okay so far. Like obviously he's taking a bit of you know, a bit of damage. He has to kinda it's kinda trade in that lane, but otherwise, you know, he's gonna get his bottle refill here. Very nice. Grew level 4, 20 and 4 with a denies. What is Techie's base? Holy, what the fuck? He's universal now, is he? Oh man, 60, 60 right click on a Techie's, dude. A level two, it used to be like 43 or something. Legitimate, legitimate. Continuing my, uh, my campaign to get Bloodseeker and PL turned into uh, universal heroes. Fire dreams. Well, because all the items I build on them are like strength and they're agile heroes. It's annoying. And I really like the idea of a PL with a trident next patch. Alright, they got the gaze. It's not going to connect on anything here. 80s feeling a little bit of pain. Oh my word. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Just walk it off. Just walk it off. It's all Gucci. Are you happy with this lane so far? 16 and 5 versus 23 and 5. Probably okay for the voids. Burrito. Snake at hitting 2. Not too shabby. Coming back. Giving the old Medusa a refill. Aggressive. Ayato. He comes straight into the laser to the face. The thing is. Oh. They killed the light top. Okay. They're, they're looking for another one here. Imp is here. He's throwing down the poison. Disruption goes out. He tries to catch a hold of Ares here with another poison stack, but it's not happening, so they'll settle for Stoic. The gaze is out, though. They get hold of the bounty hunter. It's a double kill for Ares. Maybe he wants a triple. Well, down goes Perogram Stroke, but that's fine. You're happy with the situation. Are you? I mean, if you're Ares, you're super happy. Gave up casting for this, boys. I don't know. I don't know. Marketing is happening around about the six minute mark. He's getting ready for uh, seven minute items. It's like, like this or like this. Ayato versus level six Tinkeroo here. Oh my god, the bounty hunter. He just. I. Felt like there was an opportunity there not to be had though. And boom, big explosion. Down goes the Dusa. That was a huge kill. Yo, this Spirit Breaker is 32 and 15, by the way. Is he also universal though? This has the Dama Jump. The Dama Jump, as they say. Alright, alright, alright. Right. Let's check out the net worth, boys. I feel like we're getting... Uh, ...jubated here a little bit. So they are going pretty much ahead in two lanes on EOM. Codex. 
Kusabak. Oh, she's a level behind now. Level 4 versus level 5. There's some kind of auto uh, stuff going on here, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, feels very dangerous to do this. Elsewhere, Stoic will fall to Malloy once. He was trying to sneak in there and get the Wisdom Rune, right? Wisdom Rune went to Makarek, so it was unsuccessful. And Imp got the other one. So they actually managed to get both Bounty Runes. Seven and a half minutes into the game, it's nine kills already. It's a murder fest. I mean, not the murderously murder of murder fest we've ever seen, but still pretty, pretty murdery. Well, I'm getting close to that critical level six when he gets the burbs. Everybody loves the burbs. Everybody's heard about the burbs, I think. Okay, here we go. Rotation in the lasers there. Imp in the river. I'm gonna block the eight minute rune here on the top side. It will be blocked both sides at the same time, actually. Marek picks up that shield rune. Now he takes a little bit of pain. The Spirit Breaker charging in from downtown. He thinks he's getting away to safety. Does the Spirit Breaker have dust, guys? He does not, so he'll cancel. Whoa! Sonic Wave imp the poison. Denied. Very nice, very nice. Good play from the Bounty Hunter. Five to four now. Oh, yes. The score's a level pegging it. Oh, sly. Cheeky monkey. Oh, Shikaka. Oh, boy. Oh, but here come the burbs. It's going to help out. E he's in Viz. He's in Viz. He starts to unleash the Fury. That level 6 doing some work. Imp tried to come through for the boys, but... Uh, I mean, if Pain, with her rotation up here, actually catching them a little bit unawares. And just disengaging both sides without any casualties. Just kind of creating this defensive zone off sentries here. Uh, Tinker back in the... Uh, I mean, he's never left this lane. I mean, uh, I mean he's 3.7k. Trying to get some kills on the go. As the uh, Tinker's convenience, of course. Oh, hello. Big bada boom up top here. There's Johnny. They do put the bubble down here, trying to keep Pop Malloy alive for a little while longer. He's going to fall, though. They murderize him. It's a four-man rotation, but Tinkaroo's here now. They start to clock up some kills going back the other way. All right, Bounty to fall, but it's four versus one on the Tinker. He's going to blink into the trees here. They're not going to find the guys. They are going to find him. The poison comes out. The Spirit Breaker charges into the creep. That's okay. Don't worry about that. And they do bring down the Tinker. I uh, don't clocking that kill up. And uh, a really, really nice play from Aries there. Catch him. Ah, but the low gaze. The low gaze. Ten minutes in, Yasha finished power treads as well. And that's, uh, that's some pretty good farm. Spirit Breaker still beating her ass though. 5k net worth in here. Phase Boots, Bracer, Null Talisman. I, okay. Nice, nice dodge, but here's Johnny. He comes in, the bounty hunter, seeing if he can actually get in close enough to get a hit on, but isn't quite going to be in range. She's risking it for a biscuit, though. Doesn't know bounty is there. Probably aware. Yeah, I mean, he's heading back to the fountain, though. I mean, even a stray rocket, though, takes him out at this point, so I, I don't blame him, you know. I do not blame him. Up top, Aries, he's 3, 1, and 3 already with the Oblivion stuff finished up. Wait. Is this an Orchid? Into Manta, or what's, what's the story here? He has Manta queued up, but... 
It's a casual, just a casual oblivion star. They're on the hunt, they go in here. Sonic wave. Nice. They pin the two of them together. Good leash. Now the Spirit Breaker charges forward. Boom! Bam! First 10 kills secured by Generation of Miracles. Good effort. Good effort! Double damage on Techies. A fearsome sight, actually. At this point, it's 171 damage. It's a lot of damage for attackies, my friend. Okay, so Tranquil Boots into Drums, Boots of Bearing, going to be Bounty Hunter's desired outcome here, which is fair enough. Let's see, looking for the, ma the, the Manta into Scotty Butterfly. Imp making a rotation here. Taking a long walk downtown. Oh, Shikaka, there, there's boys. There are forces coming. So, uh, the Burbs unattended top here. I imagine they should be able to put a decent amount of pressure on this. A Spirit Breaker charge onto Imp here. He's just trying to chill, you know? Just trying to live his life! Alright, life living denied. What a beautiful Mystic Snake, though. Now, the Bounty Hunter coming through the outside line here. It's four on one. Loxy gets the stream off, though. Trying to man fight the boys. Codex, that man. I'm going to drop off the stun. Still follows through, though. Back line. Bounty Hunter tries to get something done. The Sonic Wave from Ayato shuts down Medusa. Um, uh, Generation of Miracles, they are five manning, snowballing, it's all good in the hood. But meanwhile, meanwhile, if they were five manning, how did the, uh, well, I mean, they're death balling, not five manning, but you got a cheeky kill back the other way. It's a decent one as well, by the way. Four times dominating kill streak ended. A casual 700 gold going to the Tinker. Tier 1 tower down, 14 and a half minutes into the game. That's the bottom tier 1 tower. The Spirit Breaker will not be dissuaded as he charges on through here. Quick TPs in from Bounty Hunter. The gaze is there. Catches him, Bonnie. Beautiful. They take down the Tinker. Now they turn for Makarek here on the Bounty. Knocking him back the other way. you got a bubble trouble. They do have a bubble trouble. Codex trying for the cheeky TP out. It's working. He's out of there. No problem. On the poison coming back the other way. Imp looking to see if he can get in and out of this. Techies with a wild jump into nowhere. Yep, he gives them the whoops. Gives them the whoops. 7.6k net worth on the Spirit Breaker, boys. Top of the bus right now. He has 5, 1, and 4. Just a murder train. Obviously, Bounty Hunter gets the information here because of the, uh, the truck. Spirit Breaker charging through, looking for Medusa. All right, turns it around, looks for Imp instead. Bubble Trouble, gonna save him for now, the dispersion. Keeping nice and cozy. And they're quite happy to take that support kill and back it up. And I like that, they don't overcommit for this. Very level-headed play from Generation of Miracles. No overextension, they don't want to give anything back to Medusa there. Ah, she is so far, guys! 7.7k? You know, she is 0, 2, and 2, but she is second on the net worth right now. Alright, she takes the extra point in multi shot or split shot over the second point in the ultimate. Okay, Tecos, he has the drums finished up, Bracer, Arcane, Botez. Just a lovely hero to farm all these juicy jungle camps that we've got now in the, in the outside lanes. Don't we want to kind of concentrate our uh, 
Our pressure, though? Quite content, it seems, right now to farm up a little bit. What is it? Three bounces? Okay, they are smoked up. They're heading up top here. Uh, what, for the gank or for a roach? I don't see roach potential with the lineup they have right now. Maybe they're just trying to... Yeah, they're trying to do a wrap on the Dusa. They get sight of the illusion. This kind of gives them an idea that she's in the area, though, right? She's doing Ancients right now. They're looking for the Spirit Breaker coming on down. Coming on down. I mean, they had a ward there the whole time. They sure did. The Sonic Wave is there. He tries for a little song, but it's going to be Silent Cyber. That's fine. Now the linking coming through. She's all out of mana. Medusa will literally get squished by any hits that come through. There we go. Murder rise. Now they fall up on Imp. They take another one. Looking good. Looking good. The laser. Ayato down. Though that's a nice kill going back the other way for the Tinker Root. And they got another one in the bag as well. These are some trap kills coming through now as well. They murder up Tinker. Even things up back the other way. The boom going back there. Ooh, going into the river. It's a little bit risky, but he does have the shield. Gets double stunned by the burbs. Now the soul assumption doing a little bit of work. Codex with the bash forward. Charging in onto Makarek here. The bomb takes him down. Malloy, he ain't happy. He wants to finish down Ares. Ares is gone. So now Malloy, he becomes the hunted. But Raker with the charge. Knock him up onto the high ground, but they change their mind. The, the burbs dropping. Nice micro from Malloy there. Running away, but using the birds to stun them at the same time. Imp tries to go in on this, but you know what? They're going to back it up. They're going to reset, and I think that's okay. Wait, what? What? I was saying that's okay, but Imp, he's going to throw the bubble to try and stay alive, and he will not survive. The realization is there. They have a ward on the high ground, chaps. I, it was so valuable. They got so much out of that ward before it was uh, taken out. And there we go, 20 to 10, but Dusa top of the bus right now, Codex, he came in with a charge, thought he was just dealing with a creep wave, but instead he is getting chased, here's Tinkeroo with the laser on top as well, Codex, you are gonzo, my friend. Six times kill streak for the Tinker? Oops. Yeah, that Shiva's guard is, is racing ahead here, and look at this, the, the Philly Stone, the bad boy Philly Stone on the Tinker here. He wants to make sure he gets it, and he already has the money. Oh, for the plate mail. And Shiva's is fully online. This guy becomes a monster. My downtown Ares, he went, oh, it's Echo Saber. Okay, Echo Saber plus Manta. Okay. So, Tormentors are up. Both teams looking to do theirs right now. Can they really do that with these two together? Okay, okay, with the three of them. Eh, I mean, it still looks kind of dicey, but they take it down. They take it down. Smoothly done. You got the shard? It was Tekal. Tekal shard. What was the techie shard these days? Uh, reactive taser can be cast on all and steel stars on detonation. Uh, okay. Queen of Pain with the Falcon Blade, the Witch Blade, and the Kaya. She only has two hands, but three swords. This seems okay. Mechanism. Okay, Guardian Greaves for Tacos. He's going for a pipe now as well. Um, Fool on Ags finished up for Spirit Breaker. <laughs> Queen of Pain. Less net worth than Tacky's.
Smoked up, doing a little reconnaissance here. Looking for a potential ganguru. Uh, Bounty Hunter. I mean, it would be a tasty kill. He's just difficult to stay on top of. You need a lot of dust and whatnot. Double damage on the river. Quickly scouted out here. Nice Dorito. Gonna go and pick that bad boy up. Uh, he's charging. What, the bounty? On the creep wave. Okay. So, R Roche potentially is an option here. With a double damage bottled up, they could definitely go try for a little Roche. Bounty in the area. Oh, tasty. Oh, oh, oh. Trying for the Roshan. Ages, please, they say. Bounty Hunter sticking by. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello there. Okay. Alright. Coming back the other way. Drop a bomb downtown. That laser doing a lot of work. Not too shabby. Coming back the other way. The Scream as well. How did they see him, though? This is a sentry. Their sentry. And they took this, but the vision of this is only this, right? No? All right, age is secured, 4K net worth 14 to 20. Oxy on the Dusa. What an age is 24 minutes into the game. He has a Scotty as well. Ooh, uh. Is it just over now? Like, what's the plan? Like, what have we got going on here? We got the uh, Kaya. Kaya Yasha. All right, all right, a little bit of speed. Oh, oh the Shiva's guard, double laser, let's go. Oh, blink away, Tecos looking for that initiation. Doesn't find it though. Bit breaker charging from a mile out. Finds him in the trees. Nice little bash nation back the other way. Can't dodge that one. Here's him for a little bubble trouble though. The sonic wave coming back. That damage is not gonna go the way they actually wanted it to. Follow up, bring down the Queen of Pain. Spirit Breaker at least is able to TP out. Hello? Oh, okay, the burb. Oh, they're chasing in pretty hardcore right now. Grimstroker looking for the angle. There's the follow up from 80s. They're in on top of the burbs. The burbs get dropped down. Time. Pope's wife doing a good job of keeping the visage quiet. You're out of mana, my friend! Alright, they charge on downtown. Nice connection on Epic Gears. Do so. The link is there, though. Bounty Hunter causing some problems. Oh, my award! I yeah, do just eradicated by the Scotty. Here comes Tinker with his little bus ride as well. The Mystic Snake is chasing a sword. The Rocket's Codex is running, but will he survive? Oh, okay. He's going to try for the GP. <laughs> I hope he doesn't, he doesn't have the charge. No charge. No charge. No Ags either. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boo, boo. 
he's fine. He's fine, guys. Just a flash wing. Just a flash wing. For oh, I was gonna say that's the first tier two, but they already took bomb like 27 minutes in, 17 to 29. 9k net worth lead. What does the robot say? Uh, he's pretty convinced on the old hots train right now. 90 10. A little bomb downtown, throwing a little grim stroke. The old sad wank giving it a go here. Come on the tower. Ooh, hello, tech. Oh, double stun. The follow up's nice, but the murderization nation, they're gonna unleash the fury. He does pop off the Guardian Greaves, the mech. It's all keeping him alive. Unbelievably tanky little bros of here. Ares is in deep by himself now. Though Spirit Breaker comes through, helps the bro out. First life down on the Dusa. They gotta back it up. Oh, Yato, he's kinda low, not gonna lie. Medusa's back on her feet, coming forward here. Tinker trying to zone so that he can at least take down this tier 3 tower and get the value of the Aegis. The Spirit Breaker coming through though. The charge. Alright, good bomb from Teko. Wait, was it? No, that was a reactive taser. Oh, I see. I'm allowed to fall. Alright, Ares now trying to man fight on top of three of them. He does a little hop, skip and a jump back the way. Queen of Pain comes in. She goes out. And I think they're just going to have to give up racks here. Tinkeroo back to the fountain to boost up on the old mana. One, three, and ten, but seventeen, almost eighteen k net worth on the Medusa. A full butterfly, like who's even gonna MKB? Like, no one. Okay. Good luck. Rattle battle. Ulon boots of bearing finished up for the bounty hunter. He's got his fuel scepter. I mean, it feels really solid, right? They got the pipe finished on Visage as well as the solar crest, the phylactery. Phylactery. Oh, because of the soul assumption. Cool, 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 cool. Oh no, this is very aggressive. They're gonna need all the help they can get. The Sonic with it. I mean, it's a little bit weight with the scream. He's getting juiced a little bit though. The Guardian Greaves coming through with the woo. Dropping some rocks hardcore. Codex to fall. GG is called. Oh, okay. Game one done and dusted. Boom. There it is. Hot headed gaming gonna take on the back of this uncontrollable Medusa. Pretty groovalicious. Ah, uh, 20 to 21, 30 minutes and 20 seconds. Was the MVP? Ah, uh, probably Tinker, right? I imagine so. Maybe. It just kind of feels like this Medusa hero is a problem, you know? Like, she's a problem that you specifically have to address in the way that the old techies used to be. Um, What's the story with the lobby, bro? All right, okay, Jenner's coming. I got 10 out of 10 in the lobby. Should be starting soon. I don't think we even have a wait screen, gang. Like, this was a bit of an impromptu stream. Let's have a look and see what we can do for that. Uh... No, okay. We'll just wait.
All right, all right, all right. Okay, one game up for Hot Headed Gaming. Um, yeah, I mean they did have uh, you know a bit of a miracle read there. I think uh, for the Roche play, but uh, you know, other than that, it seems pretty straightforward. Medusa just getting out of hand, uncontrollable. Math C kicked to the curb. They banned the Medusa. Okay, they tried to beat the Medusa. They couldn't beat the Medusa. They banned the Medusa. This is a big brain. Big brain. Okay, we got rid of the Tinker. Two strong heroes for Hot Headed Gaming last time around. We get rid of the Pugna and we pick up Doom. First phase pick. Okay. We're gonna learn. We're gonna see what this happens. Doom. Okay, they go for the void, spit it again. Safe lane or, or mid. So, is this going to be a core clinks or support clinks? I'm big up on the support clinks right now. I think he's pretty cool. I like the tar bomb. I mean, it feels a little bit beardy. And, uh, you know, clinks is actually standing in front of Void Spirit here. He's so small. Like, he is bounty hunter size legitimate here. So, Bounty Hunter, pretty good versus Clinks, obviously. Detection's all good. Yo, Mad Panda Moo, hello. Get rid of the Moo King. Moo King! Well, I am. Uh, I'm fine. I'm just a little bit shocked and in awe after witnessing the unreal devastation of the current state of Medusa and Dota Two. Yeah, the pro Dota Two team. I got. I, I got leagues lined up for you guys already. The, the five man squad that bring it. Bring it on. Neil the band dead once again. Rid of the puck, puck pretty good versus void spirit. He does not like to be silenced, nor does he like to be um you know coiled. I don't think anybody likes to be coiled. Well, Medusa doesn't mind it. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. 
Talk, we're on the clock. The last few seconds of initial time gone. Now, you already have the Void and the Clinks on the field. They take out the Legion Commander, so Tinker's already gone, though. Like, I like Legion versus Tinker because of the BKB Pierce and Disable. It's pretty good lockdown. Overwhelming odds. Could be looking towards an illusion hero. How's Naga playing up these days? Is that a thing? Is the Naga Siren a thing? Storm Spirit. So potentially we could see Void Spirit mid here. Not 100%. He could be safe lane again. But with the with the Storm out of the way, maybe. Maybe. Dazzle. Okay. So in case they do decide to go for uh, Illusion Hero, we're going to get the Dazzle in play. And with Doom already on the field, getting Axe in here is awkward. You know, there's not really a place for him, so I don't think we see the Axe. Fine. If you're Dazzle, you're pretty happy that that's not the case. The Bloodseeker. Bleach. Okay, I like Blood versus Void. It's decent. Uh, he likes to move it. Can't move it when you're ruptured. Well, you can, but... We get the Lich as well. So we're going to get Gaze on Gaze action here. So yeah, this is just the round robin uh nothing nothing on the line just yet basically uh teams just playing in the group stages but it's a good insight all right we get the tide hunter okay Tanky boy good initiation vector as well Still doesn't 100% confirm Clink's position 4, but I think Clink's position 4. Although I uh, I played Clink's 5, or at least tried to play him 5 recently, and I feel like he would be an okay 5 as well. Like, he doesn't really offer any protection, though, for the core Jeeves, so probably not. I mean, he's, they've got a Dazzle, I know, but, you know, but, like, if Dazzle wasn't there. It could be the safe lane as well. I think with the Bloodseer, it's not bad because Clink's, he likes to stand still. This reminds me of League of Legends. What's League of Legends? Uh, we get rid of the Queen of Pain. We get rid of the Pangolier. Pangolier ban, of course, you already have the Bloodseeker. No, no, no. There's no animosity between from Dota 2 to League of Legends. Like, you know, League of Legends is based on Dota 1, so. It's like a, it's like a side shoot for kids. I mean, they are both ends of strife style fortress assault games going on two sides, so I can understand the comparison. They get rid of Tiny, they get rid of Emba Spirit. Okay, so all of the Spirit Bros Gonzo are picked up while well, Earth is still there. Jeez, true. 
Hmm. Huh. You want a mid march up into this void spirito potentially? And they banned the queen, huh? And Joker? I don't think combos well with a seeker. Oh, Zeus could be a shout. Zeus. Wait, is there no game signs or is there game signs? It looks like there is, but they're just really quiet. Radiant's turn to pick. I've tuned it up. Wind Ranger. No, 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 no. Wind Ranger. No, no, no. I mean, is it bad here though? No, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Dazzle, Clinks, Void. Void is a bit of a problem for her, but Clinks and Dazzle both kind of want to right click her, right? So if she's wind running, she should be. She should be fine. Yeah, I turned up. I turned up a bit. They they seemed like they were really quiet, but I've uh, I boosted them a little bit. Anti mage, anti mage into Bloodseeker though. Uh, all right, all right. I mean, I think it's. Uh, I I like when people pick anti mage and I'm playing Bloodseeker, but we'll see, we'll see. Hawk oh, okay. So let's break it down. Let's shake it down for game two. Best of three in the round robin of the EPL League 2022 to 2023. End of miracles with a void a spirit mid. And then we have the Clinks Dazzle Tide Hunter Anti Mage. Anti Mage Save Link Clinks position four. For hot headed gaming, we have Doom Off Lane. We have Bounty Hunter four. Safe Lane Bloodseeker position five. Lich and mid Wind Ranger. How many different heroes are there to choose from? Uh, 124, I think. Um, these are all of the heroes here. So there's a there's a solid roster, and they're now broken down into four different categories: uh, grass, fire, water, and universal. Uh, the the hero for you is Dazzle, Mad Panda Moon. I think uh, the guy who's here with the uh, the stick, he is a lovely support, a range support, very nice. He's got a heal, he's got like a, like a protection, you know, uh, he's got some nice CC, some crowd control. And uh, he's an amusing little fella. This is this is Dazzle here. You can have a uh, uh, oh, we can't even zoom in anymore. Like, where's the? We used just to be able to just like perspective view. It's amazing. Have a cookie. A little purple bro. He's from the Northal realm. He's a hill troll priest. And uh, yeah, look, he's got a little butterfly stick here. Most people enjoy our butterfly stick enjoyers. Oh, here we go. They're smoked up, though. Already moving down here. Hot headed gaming. No smoke from GOM this time. Ah, uh, there it is. This is an invis bounty hunter, but they get all four in vision. Lock C. Does he actually go for blood right here? Oh, they're just. They see too many heroes. They're like, we don't want to five man this. We don't want to go five on five, which is fair enough. A little scouting action from the bounty hunter here. A little stealthy, bro. Is there a shop and base to upgrade your... Yes, there is. But you also have a courier. Everyone gets a little pet that will actually deliver their stuff to them in the lane. 
so you don't actually need to go to the shop. And then as well as the shop, there is also... Oh, I like this. The sneaking around the outside here. It's not going to lead to anything, though. Both teams are a little bit too far away for the engage. So maybe 3, 2, 1. And Dooms, he doesn't want any of it. He's like, nah, I'm out of here. But it looks like one bounty rune for GOM and three for Hot Headed Gaming. So not a great start. Yeah, so each, each side of the map has a secret shop as well. With a range of other items that can only be bought in the secret shop. Oh, hello there. They actually went back in for this. This is wild. All right, all right, all right. First blood in it. Ares is quite happy to take that one. Bring him down. Yeah, generally 2-1-2 two, two is the way, but... Uh, it's sort of, the, the lanes are quite dynamic. It's not really the same as, uh, as League of Legends in that there's a lot more maneuverability around the map. And also recently they added these little portals. So you can now actually portal between the two, the two, the two lanes as well. It gives even more mobility. Bounty putting down a decent amount of uh, harass on Stoic. Stoic coming back out under the tower here. Taking advantage of the extra HP regeneration provided by the tower. As well as eating up a tango here. Keeping himself nice and fresh for the trades. The big difference between uh, League of Legends and uh, Dota 2 though is. You see these little exclamation marks. that are appearing here. That is a denial. So if, the, if your creep gets a little bit too low. Like this guy here. You can actually, uh, you can kill him, so the enemy doesn't get any gold from from him. Which allows you to better freeze the lane in the same way that you would in League of Legends. Allows you to pull the lane back, allows you basically to control the situation. Although I've taken a hell of a punishment here. So Dazzle, one of the things he does is his right click has a poison on it. And if he keeps, if he keeps applying the poison, you can just not get away. So basically, free kill here. Stoic quite happy to pick that one up. This uh, meta, very focused around kills in the early game now, into snowballing. So, so far, GOM 2 up, quite happy with the situation. My Dachio, oh my god, that was a lot of pain for him. Trying to back it off, beautiful body blocks from Codex though. Stops Loxy from being able to close the distance. And uh, a little tar bombing back the other way. Now it's Loxy that's in, uh, he's getting punished. So Doom, you've got a couple of gauntlets of strength as well as the brown booties. Aries already a level ahead though. Got a Wraith Band finished up from some juicy stats, building into power treads. He's not, <laughs> he's not sure what he wants here. He's like, do I want boots? Do I want to save for my ring? He, he wants the ring of health. But he's, he's, he's like, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the boots. Or the gloves as well as the boots somehow. Uh, look at his career. Ah yeah, boots plus gloves of haste. Up top. Oh, imp! Slapping and happening. We got an even kill. Bring one back for the boys. Over here, picking up the healing a little bit. Silence goes out. Murder, murder, murder. Nice, I'm coming in hot. It's the old frost blast. Trash meerkat. Thank you for the follow. Stupid friend of the ender. Keep it clean. Keep it positive. No live odds. No spoilerinos. Talking about spoilerinos. They bring down another kill on the doom here. Aries a little bit low though. Not correct. Having a good old time up top. Yo, shit. Codex gonna fall. The blood seeker. Oh well. Mm. I think he had it. I'm pretty sure he had it. I don't know if the Frost Blast was necessary. Immediate aggression here going on. And there's literally no mana on... Oh, he's dead. I was going to say, there's no mana on the Bounty Hunter. But he won't take any extra damage from Alan Image. What game is this, guys? This is League of Legends.
Oh, I see. It's game, <laughs> it's game two. It's game two. The little gold pips at the top kind of give you an idea as to what game we're on. It's not always 100% accurate, but in this case, it is. It is. And a much better start, it feels like, for. I mean, not that, not that they had a, a bad start last time. They were ahead on kills and net worth, actually. Just that Medusa is such a pain in the neck to try and uh, counter into. Stoic getting body blocked nicely here. Aged over the counter blink forward. They go in on top of Makarak. They both have a lot of mana to work with here. Imp getting splattered by Codex on the other side of the map. We will continue to watch this. Can they actually bring this down? Wow, that was a beautiful heal. Those three creeps doing so much work right now for Radiant. Makarak to fall under his tower. Oh! Oh, he's getting away! No, not to be done. Stoic will finish him off now. Malloy, he's still eating that poison as well. He wants to turn back in on this. He says, Anti-Mage, where are you? Oh, okay. He's willing to die for his core. And I love that. I absolutely love that. I mean, he's, he's, he's just going to walk up under the tower here and, and die. Three mana restored. Very nice. Very nice. Go over to net worth. Well, Bloodseeker, 3.1k net worth. Leading the charge up top. And it's Maelstrom into BKB. Phase Maelstrom BKB. Standard stuff. Ayato, power treads. He's already got the bracer. Gets a cheeky ball refill from the boys. Okay, okay. Smoking up. Looking for a reach around. Not happening. A lot of contest, little contestion here. Ten seconds for the wisdom rune. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he gets it actually. So Doom and Bounty Hunter are both scooping up re uh, wisdom runes. Even mid lane though, they get that. They get the Wind Ranger. Probably more important to watch that mid kill juice. Probably, you know. Oh, that's a lot of pros, my friend. Oh, he tries to walk back in. Unfortunate. He's toast. Nice, fresh, refreshing watermelon sa salad. Okay. Comes in with the aggressive moves. Bounty Hunter's here, though. He's like, okay, you want to get aggressive with it? Let's go. Ayato coming back forward a little bit here. The power got absorbed by the shield. Eight minutes, there will be a shield rune spawning. Oh, the contestion over the shield rune. Oh, I like this, I like this. Oh, it's a regen. Oh, a uh, shield is six minutes. Used. I see. I mean, fair. Stoic, gonna have to fall. Nice, staying alive long enough to bring down that bounty hunter. Bloodseekers here. He gets a career kill and TP's out. Very nice, very nice. So first of ten kills hanging in the balance. Yeah, generation of miracles. Oh, so he went for the cornucopia. He actually skip it. He's actually skipping the vanguard completely. Oh. Chain cross bounce thing. Actually awkward on the bounce there, but went off prioritize uh oh. heroes. Codex a little bit low, the rupture though gonna run out. Bloodseeker juiced up to the max here. Healing from the kills. Now the rotation though. Mark a wreck. Ay 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 ay. The silence on two. Pretty good. Finish that. Finish that. Finish that off. Oh boy. He gets the heal up. Nice. But now he's under the tower. Taking the pain. The arrow's following up the other way. Loxy. He's going to have to bail for the situation. The chase is on. They'll take down him. Ayato. Can he find more? I don't think so. Loxy. A speeding bullet right now. And that really nice rotation from Gom, and that's going to get them the first 10 kills in the bag. Codex heading, <laughs> he's taking a slow walk back to the fountain. And they actually scan him out, huh? Alright, alright, they're coming. Ayato, he wants this kill. 
Let's see your healing slowly but surely. Oh, Shikaka. They see him as he comes through the trees. A little blades of glory. Quite happy to back up and steal for now. My Dachio sitting in the lane. Applying pressure. Oh, they're fighting mid, Jeeves. They are fighting mid. Difficult to contest, though. Talking of contestion, Malloy, he's getting a pounding. He's got new mana left. Give him the mind break. There you go. The mana void excluding his head. Die like a watermelon in the sun. Oh, I hear a chain frost. Into the gaze. Like it, like it. I mean, if he could get a bounce onto a hero, that would be, that would be great. I think... Uh, he definitely could see him as well. All right, so random. I kill one back the other way. Less than one k net worth difference though, thanks to the bounty hunter. He's not level six yet though, geez. So no track gold. Oh, probably the doom then. Yeah, the doom. Looking for a minus on doom as well as devour. Yes, he's going to build a pipe. Top tower is in danger. Ah, we got the ball. The illusion rune. Anti Mage's balls. He wants to come back in for this, Markarek. He's poisoned up. They did. Uh, oh, I was going to say they had him under vision, but not quite. They actually have the vision control on the dire side. Uh, 350 gold off of the Battle Fury, and then we should see a pretty hefty acceleration for this Anti Mage. I'm going to keep an eye on his farming patterns, though, I have to say. Okay, I mean, they want him real bad. It's a four-man rotation. Nice. They reflect the back. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not like this. I oh, ruptured and then uh, blinked. Unfortunate. Oh, they're going to head to the mid to try and hold this tire. The chain frost is already out. It's doing so much work. That ravage not actually as helpful as you think it might be. Here's Markarek. They want to shut down Ayato, but maybe Codex is the way to go. <laughs> the focus fire doing literally nothing right now. Does he have a Vanguard? He doesn't even have a Vanguard. I mean, it's kind of built in with the Kraken shell juice. It kind of is, I guess. Markarek. All up. He's bold. Like, he was... I mean, he's still alive, so I was going to say he was, he was going to get out alive, but... He actually is out of lives, as it were. Alright, we've got the Midas off cooldown. Beautiful, beautiful TPing in for a little, uh, little gold taking action. Bloodseeker. Okay, had the Maelstrom, finishes up the uh, Hyperstone. Looking for a Mjolnir first, then I'm gonna go back for the BKB. Clinks with the Solar Crest built up already. Nice defensive item. He's going for a little peek and seek. So every seven minutes now, Wisdom Rune spawns here. For 14 minutes. There's one right now. <laughs> and he gets it once again. Over here, Bloodseeker's got a nice stack camp to work with. Going to get his Wisdom Rune. Going to hit the level 12 off the back of it. Got an extra point and rupture. Oh, Codex giving a slapping. Yo, he almost has Greaves already. I mean, he's not going to build the Greaves. He's going to go back for the pipe, which is fine. Because he's already get a lot of the value from the boots. And the mech. Aye, 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 aye. And he eliminated in the tier 1 tower to fall. 14 and a half minutes in. Pretty much a mirror of what we saw last time, right? Obviously, the bomb tier 1 is 
gone much quicker than that, but yeah, sort of similar kind of timing to last time for GOM. Quick TP out. They don't have Ravage for 20 seconds. He's going to get out safely on the Doom. And Wind Ranger. I mean, with a cheap focus fire, maybe. She, I mean, she's just gonna take the tower anyway. She doesn't even need it. Ay, 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 ay. They're coming though. They are coming. All right, interception. The fortification goes out. The poison is there. Oh, clinks. He pops out the shadows. Nice turn around though. Makarek is in on the bounty hunter here. Got a little track action. Ayato with a follow up. Wind Ranger in big trouble here. The chain frost trying to help a bro out a little bit. Ayato, that shield doing some decent work. Now the rupture flowing through though. Ayato, he is melting. Loxy comes in hot with the Mjolnir proc. He gets Stoke's career as well as Ayato going down the situation here. The Doom going out the other side on Tide Hunter, so there will be no Ravage to come through, even if you had the mana to do it. Anti Mage tries to join the party, realizes he is outmatched. Too many bodies in the fire. And yeah, just gonna back up. This tier one tower gonna fall very swiftly. Just a couple of love taps, and it'll be Gonzo. Makarek, he's in here. He's all like, hey, Clinksy bro. Oh shit, no, it's one weakness, not the dust. KB is coming along nicely. He's 20 gold more for the Ogre Axe. Alright, coming through though. They have pretty good control over this bottom lane. Uh, Roche is going to be top for a while. The scan goes out from Dire. They're wondering if Radiant were attempting it right now. And look how deep they're going here. They see these camps are gone, so they know someone was here. But honestly, Anti Mage, he's so fast, he's already on the move. Like, how do you even stick on top of this guy without a cheeky Observer Ward here or uh, here? Okay, coming through the outside line here. It's a bit awkward. The Ravage is there. They'll take that bounty hunter down. They got two of them locked on. The rupture's out though. Blood Seeker going to work. That's a lot of attacks. We codec to fall. Eh, codec to fall. Alright, they do bring him down in the end. That's fair enough. That mechanism doing some seriously good work. Loxy, we can see if he can get anything else done here. He's got 12,000 net worth right now. And that's before he's even finished up with BKB. I can install it tomorrow. Nice. I, I, I mean, it's kind of addictive, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to like, you know, put you off of it, but just be careful. So, Anti-Mage, he's off down bottom here, he's got his Yasha, he's got his Battle Fury, almost finishing the Manta style, they're gonna go and follow him, okay. Beautiful trap being set here. The bounty hunter. Oh, Shikaka, I was gonna say, look at this, my <laughs> Clinks is getting toasted. Time for a cheeky TP out. He gets stunned by the Janada. Down he goes. Three times killing streak, I actually. Clinks is toast. Yes. Gazil with a Pavis. Got the rod of Atos and the Millstone. Oh, Panda, that's right. You just got a PC, right? You were a console, a console uh, player before. Okay, Acceptor. Do I like that? Uh, I'm not sure about the Ags. I'm not sure about the Ags.
Like, uh, basically, Blood Mist is confusion from the start of Blade. You know, when you go in the, the nightclub and there's just, like, blood everywhere? Yo, hello. Alright, gonna get set up on this on image. The thing is, <laughs> if you track him, he knows you're there, right? And the, enemy, and the rest of his team starts to move in to try and help him out. They are a coming. Blood is close by, actually. The rupture's available. But they're also, they are very much aware of this counter smoke play from Radiant to cut them off here. Stop any kind of pressure. No, the smoke breaks, Bounty Hunter. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice value. Blood looking for a rupture. It goes out on Codex here. Any tries for the TP out. They will make it successfully. Turn around. One hit bash this time. No problem. It wasn't even a bash. It was a Jumata strike. Okay. Fair play. Clinks. He is eradicating that bounty hunter. He gets pulverized. Holy moly. The BKB. What about the BKB? He already used the Chiefs. The Doom does go out. They find two really sick kills. It's a freaking triple kill for Hot Head Gaming on Loxy here. Like, wow. Could not really have gone down that way, but it did. Do you get beasts to kill on the map for buffs? Uh, kinda. Kinda. So, you can kill the little jungle camps, like in League, and when you kill the jungle camps, you drop neutral items. This little slot here is your neutral item slot. And you get a little token that you can trade in for an item. Uh, so even if you don't have any gold, you get value out of it. And then you can kill this uh, thing here called the Tormentor, which is basically a Magic the Gathering card. Called Mana Vault? No. Uh, so you kill this thing and it gives you an Aghanim Shard. Just like a permanent upgrade to your bro. Like each person has like a little Aghanim Shard slot. And then also there's like a Baron type uh, Nasher hero. He's called Roshan. And uh, he gives you the Aegis of the Immortal, which is like a second life. Uh, and then if you kill him again, he gives you a piece of cheese. Uh, and then if you kill him again, he gives you an Aghanim Scepter. Uh, and if you kill him on the dire side, he gives you a refresher shard. And the cheese now has like uh So they added these lotus pools. Uh, this is the wisdom rune. They added that as well. You should pick that up. Uh, so they added these lotus pools. These little lotus floats in here. The salamani lotuses. And if you take... Uh, I think it's... Nine? No. I think if you take like 18, no, I don't know how many it is, but there's, if you take a shit ton of lotuses and combine them together, you can combine it with the cheese to make a shield root, a shield thing. Like, so when you eat it, it gives you a permanent shield upgrade. So, uh, yeah, there's plenty on the map to, to get stuff out of it, but a lot of it's kind of like distracting from the main objective, which of course is to kill the enemy ancient. Which is, is, is this... Or, uh, in the Radiant case, uh, this. So, we got the Drums of Endurance as well as the Tranquil Boots. He's going to upgrade to Boots of Bearing very soon. My dad, she was over here. He's farming a little, a little bit. They're going to go for the Tormentor. Able to take it pretty quick, and the shard goes to Dazzle. When you kill the uh, when you kill the Tormentor, it goes to the lowest uh, net worth hero, so it actually helps out, you know, supports and stuff. And he gets his, which is causes poison touch to hex affected targets. It's very very strong. I mean, trash, it looks like a 2-0 right now. Uh, basically, this meta, there isn't much wiggle room at the moment for comeback. Um, I think later on, Anti-Mage will be able to handle the Bloodseeker to an extent. You know, if he gets like 20 IMs, he will, he will be able to deal with the Bloodseeker. But if they finish the game before that, it's over, you know. And it, like I say, it's really difficult to come back. They're ahead by 11,000 gold. It's 18 to 20. The robot is actually pretty favoring of GOM even because despite this. 
They've already hit their, uh, hit their Zenith. I don't know, I don't know. Let's see what they can force off the back of the Aegis here. I do, though, I think... I, you have a lot of vision and catch from the Bounty Hunter and the Bloodseeker, you know, you'll be able to see people when they're low. You've got the Doom to take one whole target out of the equation, but hello, Wind Ranger's gonna get eradicated on the other side of the map. Dazio's gonna throw down a little Hex action. And, uh, you know, a free, uh, free mid kill. Wind Ranger, she is, well, one, two, three, four, top of the bus for farm, so a decent pick off. Really awkward to get caught out like that. Five attack speed, yeah, yeah, 15% spell, lifesteal, yeah, oh, he's definitely going for uh, the Axe, huh? he's got the Axe, okay, okay. Okay, okay, all right, okay. So the shield from the thing it happens even if you're not using the blood mist. So even if you never use blood mist, you're still getting this a thousand HP shield on top. I see, I see. I haven't really played blood with uh, the smite at all, really. That is very interesting, though. He's like a mini Medusa. Seven armor, seven attributes, the counter attack. Is he gonna, I mean, that's what he's gonna do. He oh, he's on the run down here. The axe, well, what? Did you see? Oh no, Doom was there as well. I mean, that makes perfect sense. Right, here we go, they go a look in here, the silence goes out, the rupture as well, Clink's gonna get Shrectified, he tries to get out of here, no basher, no problem, oh he's out, he actually TP'd out alive, he got out of it, no way, I mean Stoic kind of, kind of wrecked now, there's no uh, stage for him, the Rob Yeesh back the other way, but he's gonna pop that BKB coming in, hardcore and hot, Codex drop as well, and that's a double kill, pretty, uh, pretty sexy, an extra shield, don't mind if I do, Damage fire for 75 seconds equal to 50% of your max HP. Wow, that's super relevant even in the late game, huh? So in theory, if you uh, if you Omega stack the camp, right, and then just run in and murdered the whole camp, did they just get another kill? This guy tried to sneak in here and take the. Someone's got a gem as well. Okay, gem on the Doom. Yeah, so if you just like Omega kill like 20 camps, like and then push a tower, like you could have like a million HP, right? Perhaps. Alright, age is expiring. What are we looking for? Swift blink. We're looking for an abyssal. Where's the anti mage? Anti mage has his basher. We're looking for Skadi. Wind Ranger with a full glide near the BKBs up. Imp with the four staff plus Pavage rocking the Philly Stone. A little sneaky round. Smoke that from Gom. Okay. Oh wait, how did they know? 
I don't know if he knew. He just kind of like went over there, did a little D ward action. Why not? Why not? Blood streak. Ah! Alright, tier 3 tower to fall, undefended, they're wrapping around, they'll reach around here though, they find Stoic, the Doom goes out, cancels the TP, give him a little bit of a shutdown, and boom, the badge of Dezio. Nah, he's gonna go for Swift Blink, so that he can chase the, the anti-range, uh, which I think is fine. Like, uh, I mean, he already used the Doom elsewhere, so not really a big fear. Now the focus fire, though, could be pretty poggers. Who's coming in from the outside? The Glider gonna connect. He actually pops up Manta. The Chain Frost on the backside, bouncing. Imp is already dead, though. Holy moly. <laughs> okay, they get. I mean, it's a free trade, right? Clinks for. Uh, Clinks for Lich. But my concern as Hot Headed Gaming, you know, I'm looking at the map and I'm thinking, okay, we are 20,000 gold ahead almost. But we do have a bounty hunter, we do have a doom, so basically kind of discount some of that net worth lead just a little bit. But they do need to uh we need to take buildings here. So overwhelming blink, Octarine Core, BKB. What's the cooldown on Doom with Octarine, huh? Uh, Seventy-four seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. Look at all these juicy lotuses waiting to be gobbled. And an ass, and an ass. Smooth. Oh, 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 wait, are they not vision? Oh, they, they do on the cusp of things, okay. Up top, the focus fire is going harm, the doom is out on both heroes here, the BKB quick from <laughs> doom keeping himself fresh though. He is chasing down through roll, die hunter here, he's getting kind of low, that chain frost doing some amazing work on the backside of things here though. Holy moly, it's another double kill, and this Bloodseeker is going 10,000 miles an hour. Did he get the tide hunter? No, the tide! <laughs> he managed to walk it off. Just walking off the Doom, you know. That casual level 3 Doom. Alright, everyone's dead except from Tide Hunter. Another tier 2 tower to fall. Downtown, my joy, my lord. He wants to accept her. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. The AOE Doom. Big smoke. Big smoke here. What are the options? It's Bounty Hunter plus game. They're checking for the Roche situation. And Dyer are kind of moving in that way. The smoke going to break on top of uh, Bounty here. They will answer the call very quickly indeed. He got a little bit greedy there. Like as soon as the smoke breaks, he tries for a cheeky. Uh, he tries for a cheeky. Oh, you know, uh, Bounty Hunter's mark, and then they immediately uh, they immediately catch him out. Okay, Doom going in on this. Silence, Chain Frost, not gonna achieve too oh, I was gonna say not gonna achieve too much, but he does have the frost spire, so that's a dead click. Hopefully Dolkley going in a little bit deeper here. Nice hack from Stoic. They're trying to move on forward to kind of play from the ravage. Now everyone comes back in on top of this blood seeker getting absolutely spunked down here. Mutilated. Malloy trying to get the job done. Actually, Windranger doing a fair amount of work here, and they take the anti-major to turn, so although they get the blood seeker. 
I mean, the blood's such a big kill. It's a 10 times gold kill. Like, kill streak. It's like 2,500 gold. Ayato trying desperately to make his way out of this situation. They've got the vision, though. The blink forward, the overwhelming. Landing right on top of the glide here into Mata style. A little dissimilate away. And the Duke and Ning ready with another track, my friend. Can't quite lock on. Give it to him. There it is. Ah, extra gold. Tasty. Still alive? Oh, Shikaka. Shoot him with your bone arrow. He's got no, <laughs> no mana. <laughs> rough though, rough. I mean, Anti Mage absolutely delighted with this situation. So much freaking gold. Like three for two, but look at the difference. It's like a grand and a half more. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, Wind Ranger versus a Clink situation. As I, as I said, you know, like, because you could just wind run. Clink's, uh, a lot of his shit is right click, obviously. Aegis plus cheese for the Roshan. Goblin, yes, yes. Wow. Although, uh, sticking on target. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. He's toast. GG is called right there. Boom, there it is. Ah, some fighting tempers on GOM, man. I, I mean, uh, they call the GGs. They call the GGs early on this team. Alright. 2 0. -oh. Pretty clean, pretty even. Yeah, I mean, Hot Head Gaming making swift work of the old generation of miracles. Um. These three guys are in Arteezy's guild. This guy's in Effie's guild. All right. Well, MVP, obviously, Bloodseeker. 16, 1, and 11. The only death he had. It was pretty costly, though. Let's face it. Uh, love the Ags build. Uh, really gave me some insight into the hero for this current meta patch. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, what's the time? The time is 5. Now... I don't remember how this shit works, but do they, they just, uh, find it. Yeah, Mono Spa versus Unity. Is the lobby up right now? There is a lobby, but no one's in it. Like, so basically these guys tend to just like run it based on the actual timing so there's not gonna be another game for an hour so i'm gonna call the stream here but thank you very much for joining me guys it was a lot of fun and uh i will catch you guys uh i'll catch you guys next time all right all right all right all right